Sometimes you hear Christians say, I do not know how to pray. If by this they mean they could not pray the long, flowering prayers we sometimes hear, there is a sense in which this is a blessing. Our topic today is the power of short prayers. Remember what Jesus said about praying. And when you pray, do not use vain repetitions as the hidden do, for they think that they will be heard for their many words. Matthew chapter 6 verse 7. Long prayers are not wrong unless they are filled with empty words or unless the one praying them thinks the length of the prayer is the measure of how powerful a prayer is. Consider some of the powerful short prayers in the Bible. Lord, save me. The apostles had just been part of one of the most astounding miracles of Jesus. He had taken five loaves and two small fish and fed 5,000 men, not counting women and children. That night, actually, it was during the fourth watch, somewhere between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. Their boat was about to sink because of the storm. When they saw Jesus walking to them, Peter asked Jesus to bid him to walk to Lord, to the Lord. It was an amazing step of faith which started his journey. But when he took his eyes off of Jesus and looked at the waves, he began to sink. His prayer was, Lord, save me. Matthew 14, 30. It is the shortest prayer in the Bible. It was all that was needed. God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Two men entered the temple to pray at the hour of prayer. One prayed with himself, and the other prayed unto heaven. They first told God what a good man he had been, and how righteous he was. The other's humility would not even allow him to raise his eyes towards heaven. He pounded his chest as a sign of his distress and simply prayed, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Luke chapter 18 verse 13. Think of the power of this short prayer. Lord, increase our faith. Jesus had just described how his followers must forgive a, pest, a patent brother who sinned against them seven times in a single day. We may struggle to forgive a person who wrongs us once in a lifetime, or at best we may think three strikes and you are out. However, the Lord looked at seven events in just one day. The apostles' repose was, Lord, increase our faith. Luke chapter 17 verse 5. His response to them was to describe how the smallest faith can cast a marble tree into the sea. Having trouble dealing with your life, their prayer should be your prayer. Want to enhance your relationship with the Lord? Think of these short prayers or others that fit your particular situation and pray them throughout your life. We sing about the sweet hour of prayer, but it might help us all to spend more time in those sweet minutes of prayer in which our short prayers have such power. Our prayers have power, a child of God. You have to pray your long prayer quite all right, but I believe that that short prayer God Almighty answered it. He answered that. When you are in trouble, oh God, save me. Save me from this situation. Oh God, I'm tired of this situation. Remove it from me. Almighty God, hear it. There is no prayer Almighty God will not hear. But for you to go on long prayers, repeating words, doing this for people to know you're praying, why can't you just pray a short prayer? And Almighty God will listen to you. He will hear you. So many of us have entered into problems. Maybe we are driving. Somehow, somehow, something wants to happen. You say, oh God, save me. 
and you see that God comes immediately to save you. Pray these short prayers and God Almighty will bless you and guide you and protect you in Jesus' name. Amen.